You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZWLP Conroe and 106.1 KZCCLP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone. Uh, This is Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio in downtown Conroe on this wonderful morning, November 20th, Monday before Thanksgiving. Don't you just love Thanksgiving week? I do. I love the whole uh, camaraderie between friends and family and community, and it's simple. It's not complicated. It's just about being thankful, grateful for for those that are a part of your life and, and things that you've done, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So we are here, and uh, we've got some uh, wonderful guests on the show today. We're going to hear from Armando Nino from Go Lake Conroe, and then we're going to hear from Mason Langford. He's going to play a couple tunes, I believe, with Folk Family uh, Revival and uh, Southern Star Music and Arts Festival. It's coming up December 2nd. So a few things to put on your calendar in uh, Conroe area. Fred McIntosh and Charles Peters will be at the Red Brick Tavern, as they are every Monday at 730 And there will be open mic at the Corner Pub with Caleb and the Homegrown Tomatoes. So always a lot going on in downtown Conroe. Of course, the uh, two theaters are dark right now, the Crichton and the Owen. But get ready for some wonderful things happening on December 1st. Both of them will have their new performances for Christmas. One will be a Charlie Brown Christmas at the Crichton Theater from Stage Right of Texas. And the Players Theater Group will have Little Women, the musical. So lots of fun things coming down. Uh, December 9th, the City of Conroe Parks and Recreation will have a water fitness sampler class. And what that is, uh, once a month on Saturdays from 930 to 1030, you can try the Aquatic Boot Camper Jogging and see how that works. They also will have pickleball tournament December 30th. We talked about pickleball before. I've actually never seen pickleball. I'm not even sure how they play that game. But there will be a winter pickleball tournament December 30th. We'll talk more about that later. Um, if you want to know more information, you can call the rec center at 936-522-3900 or go to cityofconroe.org. So Friday night, there will be an art experience right next door to us at Conroe Coffee. And Broken Spokes will be at the Red Brick Tavern. Sherry Lovell will be at Pacific Yard House. Tom Savage will be at the Corner Pub. Saturday night, the lineup is Neil Dover at the Red Brick Tavern, Ryan Davis at the Corner Pub. And Sunday, don't miss Gospel Sunday Brunch with the Jim Sloan Trio. Now, Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, there's a couple of opportunities that if you have time on your hands and want to give back to the community, the Friends of Conroe are teaming up with the Salvation Army to do some meals, and I believe that's over at the Salvation Army on Avenue E in downtown Conroe. And Joey Ashton, who's the owner-chef of the Red Onion on the Square restaurant in downtown, is uh, putting on the third annual Montgomery County Thanksgiving Outreach. And that is hosted by his nonprofit organization, The Onion Project. If you want to find out more about that, you can go to Facebook, The Onion Project, to still sign up to participate in the uh, fellowship and helping of handing out uh, food. Um, They're also delivering food to some, some people that are homebound. Of course, they'll also have kids' activities, and uh, they're looking for people to donate desserts. That's going to be at the North Montgomery County Community Center in Willis, 600 Gerald Street. So, again, you can go to Facebook.com, The Onion Project. Also, this Saturday coming up is Small Business Saturday. Now, this was started years ago by our friends with American Express, but, you know, anything you can do to help our local merchants is great and if you want to avoid all the mall crowds you may remember that they always tell the parking how the parking's going and if they're a capacity or what 
just come down here. You can actually park your car right by the shop and not have to walk far. There's great restaurants down here that you can enjoy between shopping, or you can even get some gift cards. You know, it makes it very pleasurable for people to get a gift card from, say, the Red Onion or Pacific Yard House, um, Red Brick Tavern, even Conroe Coffee right next door to us. A lot of meetings take place next door, and that's a, that's a big benefit. <clears throat> so, again, Small Business Saturday is coming up this Saturday, November 25th. So shop local, make a difference. And the Christmas tree lighting and Christmas on Main, you may have been hearing about this. The tree lighting is an annual event in Conroe, and that takes place at Heritage Park on November 28th. It will start at 630. There will be some local school groups singing and then the very ceremonial lighting of the Christmas tree. But that's not all. After that, there's going to be a lot of excitement in downtown Conroe. There's going to be hay rides. Mr. and Mrs. Snowman will be escorting people down the two blocks to Main Street. There will be the Jazz Connection playing at the Owen Theater, and that's high school kids playing Christmas carols. There was actually going to be carolers from the Montgomery County Choral Society. The Literary Guild will be reading uh, The Night Before Christmas out in front of Mimi's while people wait to see Santa Claus. There's going to be hot chocolate and wassail. And here's the best thing. People who participate in this will be given tokens, wooden tokens, to drop outside in gift boxes of their favorite decorated windows. Now, we have over 20 windows that are going to be decorated for Christmas, and they should be up. And if you can go, if you want to take a look downtown Conroe, they should be starting to be lit up at any time. And, of course, that's free to just come down here and look. And the whole event Christmas on Main is free as well. So that's going to be a fun time, but we're going to be giving away a couple of bikes, a girl's and a boy's bike. So you can get tickets by dropping by any of the venues on that evening, and they will do a drawing at 815 for a boy's Schwinn bike and a girl's bike, and that will be at 815 at the Own Theater. So again, that's November 28th. After the tree lighting ceremony, it's Christmas on Main. Check out Experience Downtown Conroe to find out all the details on both of those events. So we're going to take a quick break, and we are going to be back with my first guest, Armando Nino. This is Margie Taylor, Conroe Culture News from Downtown Conroe. Hey, guys. I'm Joey Savage. Corey DLG. We are Nerd Thug Radio. Catch us every Monday from 1 to 3. And check out our website, nerdthugradio.com. We like to talk about quilting, horseback riding, and baking quiche. Actually, we don't, but we do like talking nerdy to you. That's right. Every Monday from 1 to 3 p.m., hashtag talking nerdy to you. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app for your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's community radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That is Conroe's FM 104.5. 106.1. Hello, I'm Margie Taylor and your host for Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1, IRLoneStar.com forward slash Conroe Culture to find out all the about our other episodes or to find out about being a guest. We have openings every Monday at noon. Come talk to me. Come be a guest. Tell me about your event that's coming up. So my first guest today is Armando Nino. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. So uh, you're very involved in the community as well. Well, we've been out here a long time. Conrad's in Montgomery is what I call home. Went to Montgomery High School back in the day, class of 89. And that's when uh, I think we went district champs that year. Uh, Brett Legan's quarterback out there and, you know, had a great season. And, uh, you know, with, things have come a long way from the two-lane highway on 105. Oh, yes. Montgomery is really changing up right now, you know. And their high school has – it's all new with right, the Emporium, their football stadium. I don't know how long it's been there now. A few years, right? Mm -hmm. Seems like. Yeah, they've been so. out there uh, a few years. The football team's still coming around. I think that golf team's doing amazing, the boys and girls out at Montgomery High School. Um, but we were talking about, you know, back in the day when, uh, you know, I, I was 
April Sound about 29 years ago. It was the only thing out there, the only neighborhood on 105. And right there, uh, uh, I remember Judge Grady Spikes getting me my worker's permit to go down to my neighborhood conference center to go to work. Uh, but I, and his son was DJ, Grady Spikes Entertainment, Spikes Entertainment. He, so I was bartending. Judge Spikes was uh, on the on the mic. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. It has been a long time. Now he's now he's uh, precinct two, justice of the peace. That's right, right, that's and right. that's over there by the jail, that's I believe. Right. <laughs> so. doing, doing all kinds of good stuff down yeah. there for the community. But, that's uh, awesome. So tell me, um, what is this Go Lake Conroe? Well, Go Lake Conroe focuses around a media center, which you know we follow events. That's where we ran into each other. Margie is you know following the Texas Conroe Americana Music Festival and several others here in town, which. We're really our, our goal is marketing and to get our advertisers and family of, uh, of sponsors in touch with the folks that they want to reach out to by getting involved and being a part and, you know, having that media presence at these events gives us backstage an opportunity to show people that even we're at the event something, another side to the same event that, you know, and that brings in some traffic that supports all of our sponsors. Very good. So this is a online source. Well, we, we're, we're present at these events. You know, we're in front of folks. We have, of course, our website, our Facebook, our Instagram, and all those goodies that are, <laughs> that are out there working for us. And, you know, it gives us a lot of reach and a lot of ways to touch different people. But we really try to be, I, I, a lot of folks talk about that whole Internet thing as a, a revolution. And I, I consider it more of an evolution, you know, where, where we have to evolve and be a part of that evolution to find out what really works. And some of those are a little more, uh, I guess, graduate level tactics and techniques to reach out to the same audience that we're meeting at these different festivals uh, uh, that are coming up, the conference centers, trade shows, and things like that that we like to be at and have a presence at to help support our family sponsors. So how do you find out about the events? What, are, what How do you do that to get involved? Well, we stay in touch with the media calendars and try to get well in front of it. We're invited out to a lot of events that folks know that, you know, Lake Conroe still has that small town appeal, but, you know, like one of the largest growing cities in the United States, from what Correct. I understand. Yes. So maintaining that small town appeal gets me in that right networking group. And, they, you know, such as the, the festivities going on here for the holidays that you, you mentioned just the show started. There's so much going on right now. And, mm-hmm. But a, a lot of proprietors here are, are, you know, they if they disappear for a weekend it, it, and lose business by not being on their post, it it draws away. So that's where Go Lake Conroe comes into task, where we, we go and fill those spots for them. Uh, we recently did the uh, the Woodlands Home Show uh, at the Waterway Marriott Convention Center, and we were representing Texas Grand Ranch out in New Waverly. I'm sure you've probably heard about that. Uh, we also represented Shoreline Properties. With multiple booths at the show, our staff manned both and you know expressed their interest with the local community involvement in a way where we really do know. I mean, we... 30 years out here on Lake Conroe, we know what they're looking for. So um, it was a it was a, a pleasure and a good time, and we we made a lot of great contacts for them and let our proprietors keep keep their post. You know, stay on the job there at Water Point over at Shoreline behind Fajita okay, Jack. So you represent them so that they don't have to be out there at the event. That's right, and they know they want to be there. They want to get out, and meet more people, and do some more things. But you know, when, at Shoreline, I think the uh, you know five hundred thousand to one point two million dollar condos there that. You know, they don't want to miss a single buyer. The trade show was a bad idea if they left to go stand at the booth, you know. So that's oh, yeah. where we come in Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Okay. So it, you've had you've been doing this since 2004? In in what capacity? Well, we've been doing uh, a, a lot of – we started out with doing web design, graphic design logos, social media marketing, things like that. And then, you know, it, it's – you know, results, I, I really believe, is when you ring the register, not when you – when you just get out there. So get, getting proven results is not just looks and views and these type of things. It's when somebody comes in and does business with you. So we're really results driven and we really try to focus on those type of, of, of processes. So through the years, we've been really trying to make sure that we found ways and techniques to do that. And there's so many things that, that in that evolutionary phase that we've picked up that are extremely effective that we know no one else is doing. Uh, like uh, Amerigo's Grill in the Woodlands, for example, is one of our clients. And I, I can go online to look at the restaurant reviews on Google, and there's like 12. They've been in business 25 years. You know, so all I, uh, we would suggest some of our clients go to dinner and make a review, but in their email address, it says Judy at you know, uh, OceanBoulevard.com. So when people read these reviews, that marks up there currently for 25 years so they're going to read the review and maybe go to the restaurant but in the same token you got to express your brand in 
that review. So staying active in some of those things, I think Google's even rewarding you for doing it and putting those those emails in place with the right, you know, connotations where it says your business and who you are, that you can continuously do this all day long. And for 25 years, people are going to read Judy at <laughs> OceanBoulevard.com, you know, as the reviewer. So it's uh, just little tactics. And, you know, we've got a lot of things that are unique to our area. Um, a lot of these uh, beg by barters, these uh, type of things that are popping up all over Facebook. We, uh, we tried to duplicate some of our style here in Dallas and uh, they don't have them. You know, they're, they're, they're just the, our community. I think I can push a button and reach 400,000 people, you know, through these type of, of community sites, these community networking sites where, you know, they're out there putting up their, their dog or their car. You oh, know. you mean like uh, different Facebook groups mm-hmm. kind of deal? That's right. Okay. That's right. And uh, they don't exist in other towns. They to, don't? Th- not like we have them really? here. I mean, like I said, I can, huh. I, I can reach 400,000 in a, yes, in a, with absolutely. my coffee. There's a lot of little groups. None of them in, in other towns. I think we totaled like three, 400 in Dallas and all the groups that were there combined. So yeah. when we look at ours, four, 500,000 are easily reached, you know, so it, it, it's definitely something we try to take advantage and that we consider part of that evolution process, you know, that things are changing and you just got to find out where it is and when it works now. So <laughs> you're saying you use that as a way to help clients reach their people? Every time it's a fit, if we can match those two together, that's what we're doing. So we're going to try and get them out there. If, you know, some some clients, they, they have a different types of reach, different people they want to touch base with, and different styles are necessary, like getting into some media events, trade shows and booths, and hmm. the Southern Star Breweries Art Music Festival coming up. You know, they, oh, they, yeah. they're looking for p- folks to come oh, out. Oh, yes, and, they are. And, they uh, still are. We definitely want to uh, suggest that to our clients, that, that it might be effective, too. Sort of like a match.com thing for a business okay. and an event. You help coordinate people. That's right. To help build their business. That, that's a great idea. So what kind of people are you looking for and how, how do you find them? Well, we do, uh, we do a lot of different things. One of the things that uh, we do for our clients is staffing when needed. You know, they're looking for people. We use those, those marketing techniques to, to help bring in new resumes and things like that to help staff them. But in the same token, like uh, uh, that staffing and uh, brings in tons of resumes for us. And we, we sit on the ones that aren't a fit and the ones that are a fit. We try to get them their jobs and place them as quickly as we can. But we also, that collection is staffed as up for Go Lake Conroe to provide the individuals with folks to come out and cook you dinner for the holidays, clean up after the holidays, you know, bartend for your party, those hmm. type of things with, with professionals that are working at Ocean Boulevard out on Lake Conroe, uh, Amerigo's Grill in the Woodlands. Uh, and these are people currently employed in fine dining that, that'll come to your home. They'll take care of those things. And we've got some links on Go Lake Conroe to do that as well. But, you know, That's we try nice. to keep them working. You know, oh, they're, yeah. they're looking for the job or they're currently in a job and the holidays are a great time for it. So tell me about the Renaissance Festival. Oh, yeah. Boy. <laughs> Man, have you been out there? I, I have several times. Okay. Uh, and I'm in garb. You know, I'm dressing up. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. You're the costume <laughs> I, I'm guy. I'm armed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that's awesome. We, we, we have a great time with it. My son's actually working uh, uh, at one of the booths out there. And then uh, we've sent several folks out to enjoy the dinners at the uh, King's Feast. Oh, God. The... That's amazing. All you can eat and all you can drink in two hours time. And there's a, a whole show that goes on during the process. I mean, there's, there's entertainers and I think the King comes and talks to you and then gypsies take over the meal at a certain point. They just raid the, they start stealing your food. And <laughs> I don't know if I'd like that part. It's, it's, <laughs> they're walking around with more constantly, yeah. but it's so interactive and it's so, it's so entertaining. It's, it's a uh, uh, great food and a great entertainment and you two hours, then you go walk the park and walk it off the rest of the day. Right. <laughs> but so much to see and so much to do. And, and I, I, you know, they put on a, a little festival prior to the Renaissance Festival out on the, on the fairgrounds back there. It was the, is the Middlelands Festival. Oh, okay. And, I didn't know that. Oh, was, some of the craziest DJs from all over the world came out. Just unbelievable stuff. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the scope was, was just epic. I mean, there was just so many people and so off the media radar. Those, some of those things are on our Instagram and you can check out some of the video clips from that that are just stunning stuff, stunning light shows, stunning music, the way they blended in and just how much hmm. fun and how many people were off in the woods in Plantersville. <laughs> right. That's always shocking. Well, people camp out there too, don't they? Don't yeah, they go? yeah that, that's evolved. I mean, I, I, everybody pictures the Renaissance Festival, a bunch of tents and stuff. Uh, these are stationary buildings. They're full grown, fully evolved. Huh. This thing is like in the dirt and it's really there. You know, they're not pretending at some point, you know, they've, they've put it up it's, and it's, it's rocking. They have a great time and there's a different theme. I think we only got two weekends left and I think we two got weekends, some, right. 
I, I was going to go ahead and throw in a couple of uh, tickets to uh, the Renaissance Festival for the first reservation that goes into Ocean Boulevard at 1200 Marina Drive by April Sound. So if you make a reservation for dinner tonight, we'll throw in a couple of tickets to the Rena- Renaissance Festival as soon as you get there. But I think I, hopefully we've got more to give away. I, I'm sure we do. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I know uh, I have four tickets with me. And I was thinking that after the show here at 1 o'clock, the first people to go over to Conroe Coffee and claim those four tickets, own them. What do you think? That they got to go. We've only got two Conroe weekends Coffee. left. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is for a Sunday. So this coming Sunday after Thanksgiving and then the weekend, uh, December, 28th, is it December? 29th, no, 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 November 28th, 29th. I think we got one or two weekends Is this weekends the last left. weekend? This one and next one. We have these last two weekends. Okay. Yeah. And um, let's do let's do two more. Let's do two more at Pacific Yard House. If you haven't okay. seen this place, uh, you've been. I've heard. You? No, I haven't. But I've oh heard about gosh. it. Where is it exactly? It was where the old Sparkle used to be. Sparkle Ice House, right over here behind the studio. Uh, no, this is Pacific Yard House. Right here by the railroad. You said house. Ocean. It's oh, called Pacific well, Yard House. Both. I'll do Ocean Boulevard. I'll give oh, two tickets okay. for the first reservation okay. tonight, and I'll do two tickets at Pacific Yard House for reservations this evening. Okay. And Pacific Yard House is what a treat! It's, a, uh, it's amazing. It's oh yeah, such a great. I venue. work with them. Have you heard about their dueling pianos for New Year's I, coming up? Yes, and I have actually posted that several places <laughs> for like them. Uh, yes, we're probably going to go to that. I feel a little Pat O'Brien's about the whole thing. You know, you know we Urban went Street. and saw uh, the dueling pianos the first time they showed over there, and it was it was fun. I'm not uh, like a late night person. We usually go to bed pretty <laughs> early. Just saying. Well, we get up early. We usually get up five thirty or six in the morning. But um, it was great. We stayed there till midnight. And watch it. It was so much fun. That's that's right up my alley. That's the stuff I, I love like it. to see. Yeah. I love it. It is entertaining because it's very uh, interactive with the audience as well. Well, you're other... not just watching something; you're involved in it. Right. Well, we've we've tried to do some stuff that are out of the box. You know that we can. You know that aren't so mainstream media. You know we've we've got a lane long a wall at a 300 bowl here in Conroe on Old Wilson Road. Oh, that, yeah. that we're going to do a, a holiday art. The same folks that are doing the windows, we're going to put them all over the wall out there and bring some of our guys. We're going to use that all year long as a canvas to kind of just put some stuff out. Being at these media events, you know, working staffing for our clients and some of the other stuff that we do. We do from telemarketing to web presence to definitely the social media. Boosting that Facebook stuff's a big a big thing for us. And our Instagram following has grown so much lately. But we meet, like I said, we just find the right client. We work for them year round and uh, uh as we move through these events and move through the different things that bring, you know, Conroe culture up to par, then uh, we, we get their branding. And I think getting, mm-hmm. being part of the community and, and doing that is, is just as important to being part of social media. So you got to be out there. Somebody has got to see you. You, you do. Know? And I, I, you keyed in on something. You have to be part of the community. I really think that's important. Um, and that's true for any business. You, you got to invest your time and, and, you can't just open your shop. You you need to be part of the community. So um, we have uh, just a few more minutes. So people can connect with you on golakeconroe.com. I know it's golakeconroe.com, That's even right. on Facebook. Yep. And the same on Instagram. Is that right? Yes, yeah, same on Instagram. And so what's, uh, what's going forward for you? Well, going forward, I think uh, through the holidays, we're, again, we're doing the uh, almost a catering. We have chefs and things like that and waiters and things that we're bartenders that are real popular around this time of year. And so we're doing that right now. It's a big push. And then after New Year's, we start our uh, our 2018 media plan, which is really a lot more social media, uh, really per client as those things go. The whole new year of different festivals and trade shows that are coming up that we, we, we're matching up. Those calendars have just come in. Uh, Harvey moved a lot of them back and changed mm-hmm. up that calendar that right, we had for right. six sure. months, and then it, that all changed up. But it worked out great. We we uh, we're excited about getting some folks to you know visit some of our sponsors. You know, Dirt Logic with West Cernisec, Ocean Bo- Ocean Boulevard, Montgomery Custom Pools, Marigos Grill, Texas Grand Ranch, and Three Hundred Bowl, and Pacific Yard House. Of course, is a per- personal spot in my heart. There, that place is. I nice. love them. They're great. It's just that comfort food with style. You know, it's like well, nice. and there's always some great entertainment. And you know, the thing of it is, people don't realize you can go to downtown Conroe and get free entertainment at the Corner Pub. Pretty much free at Red Brick and Pacific Yard House and great food as well. 
So why would you go all the way to Houston or and good entertainment? I mean, anywhere I, else, you Caleb know? and the homegrown tomatoes. Oh, Those absolutely. Guys are and right outside the door here is we have a Mason with Folk Family uh, Revival. There he is. Yeah. So and they're all at the Art, Art Music Festival at Southern Star Brewery coming up, right? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Great. So, yes, that's coming up, and we're going to talk some more about that shortly. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break. I'm Margie Taylor with Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio. I was here with Armando Nino, golakeconroe.com. We'll be right back. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show with monthly and weekly slots available in Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936 936- 647-3776 to take your first step into the radio world. Lone Star Community Radio presents the Lone Star Radio Troupe. This talented cast will perform radio plays right here in the Lone Star Studios located in downtown Conroe. There will be a new performance every first Sunday of the month. And if you miss the broadcast, just go to Lone Star Community Radio's podcast or YouTube anytime during that month. Go to OurLoneStar.com archives to find the Lone Star Radio Troops' latest play that's available. This is Lone Star Community Radio, Conroe's 104.5 FM and 106.1 FM community station. Find us on the web at IRLoneStar.com. Lone Star Community Radio is a supporter to the performing arts in Montgomery County, Texas. We are back at Conroe Culture News, like we always are, Mondays at noon. Uh, I'm Margie Taylor, and we're at Lone Star Community Radio from downtown Conroe, 104.5, 106.1, or IRLoneStar.com forward slash Conroe Culture. Of course, there will be a SoundCloud of this show on the webpage a little bit later, and the YouTube version will be shared on social media sometime uh, late Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. So watch for it. But now I am excited to uh, introduce my next guest, and he has been on here before when we had the Conroe Americana Music Festival. But this is Mason Langford. Hello. Hey. Hi. He just kind of flew in here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Gina. Thanks, Gina. And uh, he's going to uh, play a little music for us, and he's going to be performing at the Southern Star Music and Arts Festival that is Saturday, December 2nd. And that is being hosted by the Conroe Downtown Area Association um, in collaboration with Southern Star Brewing Company. Of course, it will be at Southern Star on Frazier. And uh, it's going to have local bands, art vendors, food trucks, fire pits, and maybe some Southern Star beer. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Some craft beer. Now, you were... They had a launch uh, last Friday, right, of a new beer? Yeah, their Black Crack. They aged the... uh... The Buried Hatchet Stout in bourbon barrels. For That's like, a dark beer? Yeah, it's really dark. Stout, yeah. Yeah, but my, my dad likes it, and he doesn't like dark beers, but he enjoyed that one. So it's you really played good. over there, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a good party, and then we we uh, advertised this one. The, oh, good. The, the December, December 2nd. December 2nd, yeah. Yeah, and uh, got a good response. <clears throat> Sounds like there's a lot of people coming out. And that's well, what we want. That's good. That's what yeah. we want. It's going to be like a little... Uh, mini one day uh, version and there's going to be a lot of local bands yeah there's six six bands on the bill right now there's um i don't want to miss one kenny the spider mm-hmm. there's uh caleb and the homegrown tomatoes of course our band folk family revivals on there and uh stump Phil, juice. Phil the bronze stump Phil juice, the bronze. and one more My, mike mike uh, emma bile and the run over twice there you go. I think we got them all. Yes, that yeah. is all of them. And I've been trying to do the social media, and I don't want to leave anybody out. It's so and then hard I to feature do. one. And uh, on Conroe Americana Music Festival, the Facebook page, I put your your song out there today in a cool. video clip. Do you know what so, one you chose? Um, yes, I can tell you in one moment. It's your newest one that you had out there. Oh, uh, off of the pledge campaign thing, maybe "Thumb in the Wind." 
or something? Uh, it was really good. I was listening to it. I like it. Cool. Uh, um, I will tell you, you here. No, I'm going to look. You asked, so I'm going <laughs> to look. Right. I should know these things. I just want to know it, what people uh, are listening to. Uh, um, a line? Oh, I drew a line. I yeah. drew a line. Yeah, cool. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I like that. So we'll feature different bands every day and maybe more later on today. Sweet. But it's also on Instagram and people are getting on there and sharing. And cool. uh, so I'm excited. Unfortunately, I'm going to miss this, but it sounds like a lot of fun because yeah. I will be in uh, uh, South Carolina. My son is graduating from boot camp, Army boot camp, and then we're taking him to Virginia. But this sounds like a, a fabulous, fun time. So great. what has influenced you to playing music? How long have you been playing music? I've been playing music as well as long as I can remember. It's funny because the guitar that I'm holding right now is my dad's guitar. And I remember <clears throat> this guitar sitting around the house when I was growing up and, you know, I'd always want to play on it. He had this old beater that we would play on and it's just trash because we used to play it. So, <laughs> so if we were playing this one, he would, he would be with us, but I learned how to play on this guitar and I, and I can't, I can't remember when I started, but I remember when I started taking it serious, um, there, there, it, my oldest brother Lincoln was, uh, probably, probably like 10 or 11 years old. And, uh, my dad had, was the praise and worship leader at our church and, bought Lincoln a drum set for Christmas when he was 10 or 11. He started practicing. I think by the time he was 12 years old, he was playing drums full time on the church band. So then, uh, I wanted to play and my other brother Barrett wanted to play. So my, my dad got Barrett a guitar and an amp and he started playing guitar at the church. And then, uh, my dad's bass player, you know, quit, quit the, the church band to go, to go, I think pursue a, a career in, in like a competitive karaoke or something. So he gave competitive karaoke. Yeah, it's a real thing. Okay, I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> so, so he uh, gave me his bass, and I started playing when I was about twelve years old. And then I wrote a song on the bass guitar, and realized it'd be easier to write songs if I was playing acoustic guitar. So I picked up that, and and then the rest is history. So I think I've been I've been playing seriously since I was twelve. And we started our first band when, when I was like 13, some, somewhere around then. And we were on tour when I was 16, graduated wow. homeschool. So how long so, has that been since you've been on um, tour? I'm, 20, I'm 26 now, so about 10, 10 years, something like and that. And it's just, it's going, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's going. And you were on Fox News up. last week, weren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, there we did go. the morning show, had to get there at early 4 a.m that's not <laughs> last time we got on this show with the homegrown tomatoes yeah we, we did that had to do that at 5 a.m but, but yeah, it's, it's similar different there you gotta you know it's a big it's, it's big a studio big thing so you gotta right. show up at like four and then you have to meet a security guard who has to check all your ids and ask you a couple questions probably to make sure that you're safe or whatever and then they give you a badge with a barcode and then they let you in the gate yeah we didn't have to play those no, games. <laughs> no <you laughs> yeah i like it better walk here. in and have a <laughs> hug here and then you're good to go you know that's right so and that, that was a fun time so you're playing in the band with your brothers mm -hmm. right yep so you have your two brothers and then you have caleb yep and that's that's the band right yep. yeah we're actually we consider caleb a brother too i mean we we kind of call we we tell people that everybody is your brother and your sister, you know. Right. But uh, but Caleb's been part of our family. So I met I met him when I was eight years old, and I think by the time he was uh, fourteen or fifteen, he was actually living in in my in our house with all of us. So he's family. Yeah, totally. He's family. He, he started playing guitar with us whenever we started our first band. He his brother had a old Fender Stratocaster, and Caleb started playing it and. He gave it to him, and and he was playing. He was playing all the time, just like picking up Nirvana songs or whatever. Nice. So, so he started playing guitar with us, and and uh, yeah, and then our our cousin Noah is our road manager, so it's a big family thing, you know. It is, and <laughs> you are from Magnolia, uh -huh. right? Yep. Spend most of our time in Conroe, though. Okay. <laughs> so you are uh, pretty much a homeboy as yeah. well. Yep. So why don't you play a song for us, and we'll okay. chat some more. I'll do you a new one while we're talking about family. I like to like to do this one for my dad. 
It's a little slow, but I'm still getting started, so we'll start slow anyway. Uh, the song's called Thumb in the Wind. It'll be on our new album. I know the thrill of the voices screaming my name. And I've seen thousands of faces smiling at me on the stage. I know the warmth of the light and a stranger's embrace every night. If I could do it all over. I wouldn't do it the same way I try to stay sober Instead of always killing my pain I'd be more like my father And less like my friend I wouldn't do it the same way Grandfather worked all his life to save some money for us. And on the day that he died, we spent that money on a new tour bus. The transmission is on its last limb, and I'm out here with my thumb in the wind. If I could do it all over. Try to stay sober Instead of always killing my pain More like my father And less like my friend I wouldn't do it the same way So sweet. It's kind of like you just want to sit and listen to you and a little get depressing comfy. For the morning, but... It's not really depressing. <laughs> no, I, I really, I really like that. You know, you can just pick up the guitar and just sing anything. Yeah. I, you know, I have a great memory of the uh, Americana Music Festival late night at the Corner Pub. Yes. I don't remember if that was Friday or Saturday night. Yeah. I don't <laughs> but know. it might have been Saturday night. <laughs> but I remember us. it was jammed yeah. with people in there and you were singing some doors too. oh yeah the was, roadhouse blues and the and the spy i think it was just wonderful and, you know you're you're just you have a great you have influence of the doors and dylan the beatles mm-hmm. zeppelin the band all of those old but yet you put your own nuance nuance yeah. into it and you have your own songs original music as well so 
people can go to folkfamilyrevival.com, yep. and it's the same on Facebook and Instagram. They can find you pretty much. Yeah, I'm thinking. That's, our website is folkfamilyrevival.com. Mm-hmm. They, I, I tell people the easiest way to navigate our social media is if you just go to the website and then you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you'll see the little buttons you can click for Instagram. For the and, social. Yeah, and it takes you. Yeah, it's right. a link that takes you there. And, and you have your own uh, video channel. Mm-hmm. You're on YouTube, and yep. that's where I put a lot of stuff on the Conroe Americana Music Festival Facebook page. So listen to that song that I posted, and I'll post some more later on. We'll have a new. So, we'll have a new album out for everybody soon too. And at at December second, we'll be playing. All the Your new songs. songs from the new album. That's nice. Along with all the old favorites. It's going to be a good jam session. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. And, and people can get tickets uh, at the downtown shops here. Most of the shops here on Main have tickets they can sell you. And if they don't, they can probably tell you someone who does. Yeah. The Branding Iron, Conroe Coffee, Corner Pub. I think Pacific Yard House has some. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brownlee's Jewelers, probably Cowtown Couture has some as well. I don't know, Dick, if you have any or not, but you should, you know, uh, here at Lone Star Community Radio. <clears throat> and uh, you can also go on ctxamf.com and purchase them online as well. They're going to be $15 in advance, $20 at the gate, and they're still looking for uh, vendors and um, artists to come join them. Should be a lot of fun. I mean, there's going to be music uh, starting at noon, going through late night, ending with uh, more intimate settings. Mm-hmm. I know that they have that amphitheater outside right. type thing, a stage, and then they have the fire pits and yep. all of that as well. It's, it's Their outside area is really cool. They've got this, they've got a, we actually, me and my brothers built the stage there. Oh, did and the, you? And then people from Stump Juice put the skirt around it. Okay. So, so we've all like kind of so helped. So you've had a piece up. of the action yeah. there, and so this, to speak. This, this big yard, you know, where everybody hangs out and there's a tap, there's a tap right there where you can get beer without Having to go upstairs go and upstairs. leave the music. Yeah, you don't want to go upstairs. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really <clears throat> Should be cool. nice. Bring blankets. Bring jackets. Yeah. I'm Lawn thinking chairs. winter. Hopefully, it'll be you know a little cooler. I mean, it's better it is to come December. prepared. Either That's, way, yeah, have, your, have your jacket. <laughs> so, <laughs> cold. Um, and uh, you know, uh, drink responsibly. Mm-hmm. Don't do anything dumb. Uh, so have a designated driver or don't drink. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, of course, the beer is great. It is. Um, it, so. Uh, before we leave, let me mention, again, we have those four tickets for at Conroe Coffee for the first people who come there for lunch today to go to the Renaissance Festival on Sunday. And uh, we're going to have, next week, we're going to have the uh, Tyler Stuckey Band, Brett Hall from Conroe Art League, and somebody. It was supposed to be Caleb, but I'm not sure who's going to play on here next week. But do you have time? Do you want to do yeah. another quickie? song we have like i don't know seven minutes or so something like that yeah i think i have a song that's about seven minutes okay all right (laughs) i'll do you another new one that's going to be on the new album uh we with we camped out in idaho for for a couple weeks to finish writing up the songs and uh woke up one day and and we we needed a song to tie the the story of the record together Mm -hmm. so this one just kind of happened happened to me uh, the song's called Why the Chicken Crossed the Road. No. Oh. <laughs> Smoking like an ashtray Shaking like a tambourine I've been at war with myself before, but I don't know what it means. I tried my best to tell them of the demons I have seen. The power of Christ compels them, but they don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. Revolution Avenue 
I went out walking with the devil's daughter under Tijuana moon. We slid the dawn down to the riverside where she taught me how to sin. She shivered up my side and pulled me in the water and I never come out again. She took her rags and flowers off. She says it all depends on just how much a soul is worth and how deep the deep end is. I guess it wasn't quite seven minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, it, it was nice. Sweet. I like how you just dropped and then mm-hmm. you picked up again. Yeah, that it's so weird because I I play it on a baritone guitar and I and I've just started playing the baritone, but there's a there's a low B string on it. So where I'm playing an A minor shape on this one, it's the D minor on the baritone. So I was getting a little confused on that part. That's okay. <laughs> it sounded great. Yeah. It sounded great. So, uh, again, December 2nd, Southern Star Music and Arts Festival. You can get tickets there at the brewery. You can get tickets downtown Conroe. You can get tickets online at ctxamf.com. Follow it on Conroe Americana Music Festival Facebook page or um, any of the artists. They're all sharing it, too. Yep. So, Folk Family uh, will be there and uh, so many of the other bands uh, of, that are local. Yeah. Caleb and the Homegrown We're all Tomatoes. Friends, so we Stump might have, juice, might have so. some collaborative jams going that on. That would be really cool. Yeah. So, it's going to be sweet. Uh, there will be a link to this show and it will be um, sent to all my guests. It will be on Conroe Culture at Facebook, Taylor Ice PR, and it was, of course, be on IRLoneStar dot com forward slash conroe culture so that's all we have for today again uh, we look forward to next monday at noon with tyler stuckey band brett hall from the conroe art league and another band will be playing not sure which one but it could be field of bronze could be stump juice not sure but stay listen listening and find out uh, on conroe culture news i'm your host margie taylor happy thanksgiving 